it is Pixie. This is Jill. We have some fashion gossip to talk about today. Dolls Kill is back under the eye of public scrutiny. <laughs> And I want to talk about it. I have a lot to say. I think this is a really interesting topic. And I also want to clear the air about like what the truth and the status of this situation is because I personally was confused. So let's chat all about the recent Dolls Kill controversy, I guess. I don't know. So before I just jump headfirst into that, I'll do a quick history of Dolls Kills, like scandals and problematic history. They're big ones other than just being a fast fashion company, which is unethical by design. They have had racist items in their store. They had a shirt that said, Goth is white. They also sold costumes for Halloween that were cultural appropriation of indigenous culture, like the feathered headpiece things. Just, just absolutely like inexcusable. Um, and that all, you know, the, it, people were already boycotting Dolls Kill because of that, and then, and then they were very pro-cop uh, during, I think it was June or July of 2020 after the murder of George Floyd. So there's a lot of reasons to not support Dolls Kill. I'm sure I'm forgetting some. I know they've also stolen from artists several times. There was something about them responding to an email from a concerned customer and they told the customer to take a chill pill. And they've reached out to me before. I used to get PR from Dolls Kill. I was never like paid money, um, but it was like a trade for like you'd kind of be obligated to post. And that's the way they type in their business emails, or at least it was a couple years ago. It's like, hi BBXOXO, are you a girl boss for life? Like, can I, can I talk to like a business person please? So the fact that they also respond to like serious, genuine customer service inquiries about like racist and problematic and like mental illness glorifying slogans and stuff was another one. Just all, all kinds, all kinds of bad crap. And I also personally, I don't buy any fast fashion. I made that decision a few years ago, um, but I do still wear the Dolls Kill that I bought, purchased, or was gifted beforehand. Um, like this is a Sugar Thrills piece, I think, that I bought at a secondhand J Fashion swap and shop that our J Fashion community held. It was so fun. I got several Dolls Kill pieces secondhand at that swap and shop. And I just think that once clothes get made and they're in circulation in the world we need to be using up and giving homes to these things and you know not just like throwing them in the trash so I have a very very large like vested interest in the dolls kill and other like fast fashion trendy brands where I personally don't want to buy from them firsthand because I don't want to put money in their pockets but once it's existed and it's been out for a while if there's a strawberry shortcake collab shirt that ends up on like Depop or whatever, you know, it's kind of like vegetarians that eat meat if someone's gonna throw it out. I'm her. And that is where this whole recent controversy arises. Basically, people have been getting copyright strikes on Depop whenever they list Dolls Kill items. As I was reading up about this, I saw Reddit posts about this that went back as far as 2020. Uh, but most of these cases were specifically because they used the images from the Dolls Kill website. So it was more of a photo copyright problem than uh, don't sell our clothes secondhand, which we're also gonna get into the legal implications of that. Like, do they have any control or say over what you do with your things once you buy them? But I guess a Depop user contacted Depop customer service or support about this, asking why their item was taken down. And an employee from Depop responded saying that it's because Dolls Kill does not allow the resale of their items. So that kind of set the internet on fire because that is evil. That is a new brand of evil. <laughs> I recently got my account banned a couple of days ago for listing Dolls Kill clothing items. Dolls Kill reported my item as counterfeit even though it wasn't and Depop wasn't budging on giving me my account back as all I kept receiving were bot responses. Exhausting. After being persistent and messaging their customer service several times, I finally got an actual person to help me and they decided to unban me and just give me a 21 day suspension. Bro. Thanks for reaching back out about this. Apologies for the delay in our response and for the misunderstanding here. I've had a look and can see that these Dolls Kill items were removed as Dolls Kill doesn't allow the resale of their items and this isn't due to the inauthenticity of the item itself. I guess it was like bootleg Dolls Kill 
maybe they labeled it as Doll's Kill, and it was actually Sheehan. Don't get me started on the S word. Though we recognize this is no fault of your own, we do have to act on these takedown notices as these are official requests from the company and we appreciate your cooperation here. That is crazy! As I recognize you weren't aware as to the reason we had to issue these warnings, instead of permanently closing your account, we will be temporarily dis suspending it for three weeks? Okay, but why are they getting punished? That's dumb. Anyway, so yeah, um, as you'd expect, people were really, really pissed about this because I don't think this has ever happened or I've never heard of this happening of a fashion company or anyone like the, I don't know, Mr. Salt and Pepper Shaker isn't going around on eBay listings, striking them being like, no, once you buy them, you keep them and you buy them from us first and you can't buy them from anyone else because I want your salt and pepper shaker money. Like that, I like, I just, it's, it's so, it's so evil. It's so capitalism, yeah. Like I just can't, it's unbelievable. It's laughable because it's so like ludicrous because oh my god. So this was posted on the r slash depop reddit. Yeah, comical level of super villain greed. I agree. Yeah, people on reddit are wondering if this is legally feasible at all. I don't have an answer to that. I just need to include that that's part of the conversation. Um, I am very, very clueless when it comes to legal stuff, but I feel like it would more so have to be an agreement between Dolls Kill and Depop and like Dolls Kill and Poshmark rather than like Dolls Kill, I don't know, ruling with a fist that no one can do this. Cause I feel like if Depop didn't agree, like why would they have to act on that? This is all just me thinking, I do not know the law. She states you cannot resell Dolls Kill clothing items, which is odd considering Depop has them as a brand to list. So this is just a warning to you all. At least they didn't tell her to take a chill pill. <laughs> okay, this is kind of unrelated, but someone else posted this underneath that Reddit post. Dolls Kill let me return an item, they paid for shipping, and never paid me back. The fact that Depop enforces this is beyond me, Dolls Kill is a horrible company. They shipped the item back and never got their money? <laughs> that was a Bowser Jr. ass laugh. Sorry, that's crazy. Ooh, someone posted an r slash legal advice. Haha, -ha, wait, I think I was kind of right. Yes, they can mandate specific brands being banned for sale on their site. No, the first sale doctrine does not apply to the platform banning specific brands being sold on their site. The first sale doctrine would apply to the brand restricting the resale of their product. So yeah, Dolls Kill can't say no one can sell these again, but they can go and like make little deals with Depop and Vinted or whatever. Some of these we don't have in Canada. Oh, that sucks. So I guess technically they can never come and get me at my cute little J Fashion swap and shops where I'm, you know, trading a beret for a cool glove thing. Cause like, I'm sorry, the planet's dying. I don't know if you've seen the news, but like it's, it's past time that we like, oh my God, I'm so, my eco anxiety is just consuming me to the point where I literally have to dissociate away from it. Cause like the, the planet, the planet's dying. So this, Shit is diabolical, which is why I am happy to bring you to the part of the video of the truth <laughs> that this was all a false alarm and that that Depop employee was wrong. I found this out the other day when I thought I should make a video about this because this is crazy and I just searched it up on Twitter and I saw the official Depop account like spam replying the same response to a bunch of different people commenting about this because it went pretty viral on Twitter as things do. <laughs> so I was like, oh thank god, that is good. That is good. Obviously still Dolls Kill can suck my ass but I am relieved that they, you know, are not participating in this specific brand of evil. However, the fact that they still are so notorious for striking down and like reporting listings that use images that are like from their site, I still feel like that's something that we really don't see often and the only like reason behind them wanting to do that is to dissuade people from selling their stuff secondhand. In my opinion, I guess. I just still think that's really slimy because when else do they ever care? 
When else do they ever care? I don't see them reporting tweets of people posting like outfit inspo with their images. You know what I'm getting at? So it feels like a, a quieter way and like a loophole to kind of get to maybe this thing that they were thinking about getting at. And who knows, maybe, maybe, conspiracy theory, maybe the Dolls Kill did say that to Depop. And then Dolls Kill saw all this uproar and went, oh my God, no, never mind. But that's conspiracy theory, alleged. I'm just thinking thoughts. I'm just saying things. Yes, here's a handful of the responses that the Depop Twitter was, you know, these are all probably within the same few hours. We want to clarify our position on the sale of Dolls Kill items on our platform. The message sent by Depop and featured in this post mistakenly noted that the listing was removed because Dolls Kill does not allow the resale of their items, which is not the case. Dolls Kill items can be sold on Depop, but we removed this user's listing because it allegedly contained images owned by Dolls Kill, which would be in violation of our intellectual property policy. Blah blah blue. We're sorry for any confusion caused by this email and would encourage the user to reach back out to our team for clarity just to reconfirm Dolls Kill items can be sold on Depop. So there you go. I also really wanted to make this video A because I still had a lot to say. I still think it's kind of shady and still achieving that same goal just by them striking listings with their photos because again, when else do they ever care? And that's just in my opinion. Maybe someone else is like a but I'm a business fashion person with photos. I'm the, wait, I am a person who has a, probably a, an educated opinion of this. I do think it's kind of shady, cause they never care. And I also just think it's a really interesting conversation and I'm always just down to talk about sustainability and fast fashion and we need, we need the secondhand market because otherwise all these clothes are gonna end up in landfills. And girl, Mother Earth is like, <gasps> I have to make jokes about it or I will literally have an existential breakdown. And another really big reason why I wanted to make this video is because yeah, I didn't see as much buzz around or like no real comments or anything. Maybe I missed a big post, but I haven't really seen people talking about the fact that this was all a false alarm. So I don't know, maybe this video will also help people know that you totally can sell dolls, kill items on Depop. Please don't let this discourage you. Even giving clothes to thrift stores isn't great because a lot of those clothes, again, just end up in the friggin' garbage and I'm sorry to be a downer, but as your, as your local sustainable fashion friend, that's my job sometimes. So yeah, thank God. Thank God, and I hope that that Depop employee is doing okay. Uh, you know, we all make mistakes, and you never know when something is gonna like go to Reddit and Twitter and I guess YouTube, but I just thought it was a really, really great conversation starter, and I wanted to also spread the good news. Please keep selling your clothes secondhand. Don't overconsume and sell constantly and cycle through because that's still not very great or sustainable. But yeah, don't don't let this discourage you from selling your clothes secondhand. Anyway, I hope you guys like this video. I always love talking about fashion, tea, gossip, and style. <laughs> and of course when it ties in with sustainability because oh my god, if this was the case, the video I was gonna make before I like switched gears and made it more about like discussion and awareness, Oh my god, I cannot imagine how riled up I would be, because I'm pretty riled up in this. <laughs> All is well that ends well. I love you guys so, so much. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you in the next video, which is not this one, because this one's over. Bye.